Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you are all doing fan freaking tastic. I am so excited for today's video. It has been such a long time since I did uh, any kind of, you know, um, collab. Uh, the last video I did like this was with Jessica Ray Plays. If you guys have not seen that video, I will link it in the description down below. Um, so make sure that you go check that out. But today we are doing a sim swap with Simmer Claw, and I have just absolutely enjoyed this whole process going through this with her. This has been so much fun. Uh, but let me introduce you to the three sims that we are going to be making over today. So these three sims are from her Legacy of Flavors Let's Play. If you guys have not seen her Legacy of Flavors Let's Play, y'all need to go check it out. I'll leave that in the description below as well. Um, but they are so cute. So we're going to start with chef number one, which is Nyla. And Nyla is the one right there in the middle with the long, gorgeous black hair. And this is the backstory for her. Nyla grew up in a small town with her single mother who was a passionate cook. Her mother's culinary creations not only nourished their bodies, but also brought joy to their home. Inspired by her mother's love for cooking, Nyla developed a deep appreciation for food and its ability to bring people together. After her mother passed away, Nyla decided to pursue her dream of becoming a chef to honor her mother's legacy. Her style is casual and comfortable, often jeans paired with a trendy top, and she's not really into makeup, uh, but she will wear it for like party outfits and stuff. Moving on to chef number two, Amelia. Amelia is the one over on the right hand side with the long brown hair. She goes by Amy. Amelia Amy Collins. Uh, her backstory says Amy's love for cooking began in her grandmother's kitchen where she spent countless of hours learning traditional recipes passed down through generations. Growing up in a multicultural household, Amy was exposed to a variety of flavors and cuisines, sparking her curiosity and creativity in the kitchen. With her grandmother's guidance, Amy developed a keen palate and a talent for blending different culinary influences into her dishes. She entered the culinary world to share her love for food and culture with others. Her style, uh, she says she loves pinks, uh, casual with a mix of girly, uh, some dresses, things like that. And then we have chef number three, Victor Vic Ramirez. His backstory says Vic, a talented young chef, always had a passion for cooking, but his parents were traditional and wanted him to pursue a different career. When he decided to become a chef, it led to a bitter falling out with his family. They couldn't understand his passion and saw it as a risky choice. Determined to prove himself and break free from his family's expectations, Vic entered the home chef hustle competition. His goal is not only to win, but to show his family that he can excel in the culinary world and follow his heart. Despite his competitive nature, Vic is kind and an empathetic person who believes in the power of food to bring joy and healing. His style is also pretty casual, often seen in sweaters and t-shirts with jeans. So let's jump into create a sim and see how they came over in my game. All right, y'all, we are here in create a sim and Amy is the first sim that came over. This is how she came over to me. Her skin tone is pretty close uh, to what Simmerclaw originally had. I think she plays with a reshade. Um, so her game looks a little different than mine. Uh, so just kind of keep that in mind as we're looking at skin tones and things like that things are going to look a little bit different um, because it looks like she maybe plays with a reshade or something like that that I don't have in my game um, but let's go ahead and just kind of take a look here so we're going to start with some skin details um, of course let me see what kind of skins I have here that I think would look good on her I really love this dewy skin by twisted cat I think this looks so good on her I think we're gonna go with this one I think this looks super super cute on her and I also want to add some beautiful lashes here I think we're gonna go with kind of a shorter lash for her i think it complements her eye shape really well i really really like that i am gonna switch up her eyebrows a little bit too let me kind of see what i have here i really like these brows on her um but i think i think i like these a little bit better I think I like these even more. I think we're going to go with these brows for her. Kind of shape up her brows a little bit. Love it, love it, love it. She's so cute. Okay, let's go ahead and start with hairstyles. This is going to be the fun part because she has really long, beautiful hair. 
So let me kind of see what I have here. Now, I know that she's a chef, um, but we're going to be doing everyday outfits for each of these sims. So um, we're going to be just kind of giving her an outfit that she would wear just on a normal day when she's not in the kitchen. So I really like this hair. I think this hair is gorgeous, but I want something a little more dressy. Like maybe she's going out uh, for dinner with the girls or something like that. Maybe not anything like party wear or anything like that, but I feel like she, because she said she likes, uh, you know, a lot of pink and um, she's kind of girly. She likes to wear dresses and stuff like that. I think she would be the kind of sim that would like always want to do something with her hair you know what I mean this is very very pretty it's very similar to the hairstyle that she had previously uh, but just a little bit different and I just I love this hairstyle in her I think that looks so pretty I really like this too I like the little clip in the back I think that is so cute it's very girly very sweet um, I like this one as well. Again, very similar to the other hairstyle she already had. Um, but I'm thinking we go with something a little more girly and a little cutesy. I really like this one. So I think we're going to go with this one for her. Let's, uh, we'll come back to accessories and stuff. Let's put some makeup on this girl. Um, because she really likes pinks and stuff like that. I think we're going to go with kind of a pink uh, centered look so we're gonna do this purple but we're gonna change mm, no we aren't gonna do the purple because the hue is not changing the way that I want it to um, we could do this pink or even this lighter pink and just kind of change the opacity here and just make it kind of a soft pink I really like that and then let's do let's give her a little bit of a wing I mean everybody loves a good winged eyeliner uh, ooh, or maybe we could do this white under eyeliner. Ooh, that looks really cute on her. I don't know, y'all. I feel like that wing is like a little too much. Um, I have this one too, which I also really like. I think this one really complements her eye shape. I think that looks really, really cute on her. So I think we're going to go with that. Um, let's, of course, we're going to reach for my tried and true, my Urban and Ocean Sims collab uh, blush and contour. This just looks incredible. You can find a shade for every single sim that you have. I think they just look amazing. Um, and of course, you know, y'all know I love my Urban Sims, uh, cosmetics. So I think we're going to go with, maybe we'll do the honey gloss because it's nice and light, uh, and pink. I think we're going to go, we're going to go with this one. We're going to turn down the opacity just a little bit to where it looks like, you know, she just has a little bit of gloss on. Um, okay, let's come back to accessories and let's just put a little, let's just put some little earrings in. I don't think we're going to do anything too crazy. I do like these little um, earrings, but I'm wondering if we're going to have trouble with the earrings because of the lashes. Shoot. Okay, let's go back to skin details and let's take off the lashes. And here's what we'll do. We'll go to glasses. We'll use the glasses version of the lashes where are they is it this one it's this one okay perfect so we'll use the glasses version of the lashes the lashes and then maybe the earrings who won't cause us issues i really like these little knife earrings too i think those are really cute but i don't want to play too much into the chef thing like i just want her to be like a normal girl like her whole personality is not that she's a chef you know what I mean I love that okay um let's maybe do a little necklace as well just something really cute and small I feel like she's very like dainty almost so I really like something like that I love that okay Moving on to her outfit. Now, she does say she likes little girly dresses and stuff like that. Um, so let's see what I have as far as little dresses. Um, this one is super cute, but I just don't feel like it fits her. Um, let's see. I feel like a lot of my dresses are very formal. You know what I mean? Like they're not like 
Oh, see, this is cute. This is super cute. I like this one, I think, even better. That is adorable. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's do maybe if we did like that's honestly kind of cute, but I don't know if that's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh my goodness, this is adorable, but I feel like this is almost like a maternity dress. You know what I mean? Like, I just feel like this would be really cute for like a maternity shoot and she's not pregnant. So, <laughs> I mean, we could do like a pink Jessica Rabbit. I mean, she's killing it, but <laughs> I don't think we're going to go with that. This is honestly really, really cute. I really like this one. I really do. I think this is adorable. So I think we're going to go with this. Let's see if we can find her a cute little pair of wedges. I love these little wedges. I don't remember what pack this is, but I think these are so cute and they go with her outfit so well. Okay, let's go ahead and, you know, you know me, my, my Sims cannot have nails that aren't painted. We got to give our girls some painted nails. So we'll do, maybe we'll do this like dark kind of purple, just, you know, to add a little bit of color. Um, and then let's do, of course we got to do toenails. So we'll just do kind of a darker purple for the toenails as well. And then I think it's the skin overlay. I think it's the skin overlay that's messing with her legs, y'all. And I just can't, I, I'm wondering if I take the dewy skin off of her whole body and just put it on her face. Yeah. See, that looks so much better on her legs. I just felt like her legs <laughs> looked like, like she was wearing a white pair of tights or something. I don't know. I couldn't, I couldn't get with it but i really really like amy i really think this came out super cute i'd like to add a little bracelet or something uh because i think that would be really cute but other than that i think we're pretty much done i love this very simple little bracelet by peebs so i think we're gonna go with this one uh just because it's very simple and very cute and we're just gonna we're just gonna put it in the silver I think yeah just so it matches her the rest of her jewelry but amy's done i think she looks super super cute all right, moving on to Victor. This is how he came over to me, uh, but I know that in the picture she sent me, he had this very gorgeous, curly, textured hair. Um, so I want to stay true to that. So let me see what kind of textured uh, sort of hairs I have that I could use for him. Y'all, I have got to get some more textured male Sims hairs because I am struggling to find anything like cc wise that would fit him that i have um i just i don't have a lot of like textured male hairs i have a lot for females just not as much for males this one is pretty close uh to what he has it's a little shorter uh, but I think it's the closest I'm going to have. Um, so not a lot of facial hair, but he does have some. Um, I like this one. I think this one's very similar um, to kind of what he has. Um, I like this one too, but I feel like he needs a little bit more coverage than that. I think we're going to go with this one. We're going to go with this kind of darker one. I like it. I think it's cute. Um, and then she said his style is very casual. He likes to wear sweaters. Um, so we're going to see what I have. Male Sims are just so hard because it's hard for me to find any Maxis Match CC for males that I really, really like. So we're going to see what I have to work with here. <laughs> I do have this patterned sweater, which I really, really like. If I can find a pattern here that I think looks good on him. I don't know y'all i'm not feeling it maybe this one uh, but i feel like it's a lot of browns so and maybe if we did like a blue like this navy blue i kind of like that i don't know let's see what else i have here 
I have this sweater too, which I really, really like. Ooh, yes, this one for sure. I think we're going to do a dark blue because I think it works with his complexion so well. I think that looks so nice. And then she said he wears jeans and stuff a lot. So we're going to go... I don't know. I have these jeans, but I just don't feel like those fit his vibe. You know what I mean? Um, I, that's the problem I have with the sweater is it tucks into the jeans. And I hate that. Like, I don't want the sweater tucked into the jeans. Do I have it in an untucked version? I do. Thank goodness. Okay. I think we're going to go with maybe these lighter kind of brown colored jeans. I really like that. And then let's put on some socks, of course. We'll just do some white socks. And then let's find him some cute tennies. Um, I like these. I feel like they go with his outfit really well. I really like those. Do I have any custom content tennies for guys? I have these boots, but I don't have any tennis shoes. And I feel like he would definitely be one to wear like comfy shoes especially if he's going to be like in the kitchen all day and stuff like I feel like comfy shoes are a must for him so we're gonna I think we're gonna go with this I really like this I like the way this looks I'm I'm happy I'm happy with this I want to add a watch though because I feel like as a chef you're constantly looking at the time you're always watching um you know Ooh, which watch though that watch or that watch Ooh, i don't know i like the silver watch but i also really like this black banded watch we could put a white band on it or even like a navy blue band to kind of go with his outfit i feel like wearing a watch on your right hand is weird <laughs> so i think we're gonna go with the other watch because i think i like it better on the left wrist um and we're, we're gonna go with the gold swatch i think okay I like that. I'm happy with this. Let's move on to Nyla. All right, y'all. Moving on to Miss Nyla. This is the closest I could get to the skin tone it looks like she has in the picture that she sent me. Um, so let's see. Oh, the pronouns are said as he, him. So, uh, but I watched the, I watched her um, Legacy of Flavors challenge and she referred to Nyla um as she her so i'm going to refer to nyla as she her because i think that is uh i think those are her actual pronouns i'm not sure what what this is about but um i have lots of textured hairs uh for her and she has this gorgeous really thick curly hair and so i'm so excited to get to play with some of this oh my gosh this is so cute oh my goodness i love it okay hang on let me see. Let me see. Let me see. What else do I have? I love this on her. I think this looks gorgeous, but I'm going to keep looking uh, because I think I have something else in here that might really fit her. So this is very, very, very similar uh, to the hair that she had in the picture that she sent me, uh, but I don't want to match it perfectly. I want to give her something a little bit different. Um, and just kind of see, just, just see what we can do, you know? I don't know about y'all, but I love this hair on her. I think this looks so good. Uh, yes, we're going with this. This is, this is what we're doing. I am going to change up her eyebrows a little bit. Um, I think I like these on her. Um, and then we're also going to go to face and then we're going to go to skin details and let's see if I can find a skin that I think fits her. Okay y'all if you don't believe that skin blends can make all the difference let me just show you something. So this is without a skin blend. This is the lemonade skin blend. Like it makes such a huge difference. I am obsessed. I just can't believe how much it can really change the look of a sim. Um, but this fawn skin looks incredible on her. I love it. I love it. I love it. The only problem I'm having is I don't know if I really love the highlight it adds to her eyelid there. But I'm wondering if we add 
some of this Urban Sims uh, Focus Highlighter. I think that makes all the difference. I don't even know that we need a skin blend. I think that makes all the difference with her. And she has these really long, beautiful eyelashes. So we're going to add these eyelashes because I think they go really well with the eyelashes uh, that she has in the video she just, or in the picture. Um, she has these really long, beautiful eyelashes. And I think these really accentuate her eye shape. I think these look very pretty. Now, she does say that she does not wear a lot of makeup. So I'm not going to add a lot of makeup. I think the only thing I'm going to add is this Ocean and Urban uh, Collab uh, Lip Gloss. Uh, because I think a little bit of lip gloss would do her good. I think maybe we're going to go with this one and we're just going to turn down the opacity just a little bit because I feel like it adds so, so much. And I maybe we'll just do a little bit of blush. See, just a very small amount of blush just to bring a little bit of color to her face. Uh, but we're not going to do anything super, super crazy. But I think that looks super cute. Let's go ahead and add some earrings on her as well. I don't see any earrings in the picture. Um, but I think for her, we will do the little knife earrings. Unless I can find uh, something else that I really like. Okay, so for her outfit, she said jeans, cute top. So let's see what kind of cute jeans I have. I love these jeans, but I just don't feel like they fit her body type very well. So let's see what else I have. I love these jeans. I feel like they fit so well on literally everyone. I think they look so cute on every body type. I'm just obsessed with them. I use them all the time. So I think we're going to go with this kind of dark pair of jeans and let's find a cute little top for her. I love this top. Very cute, very casual, very comfy. Uh, but I want to see if I have anything else that is a little... A little more, I don't know, a little cuter. This also is really cute, but I just don't like it on her. I just don't feel like it, it flatters her body shape as much as I would like it to. This one is also very cute, very casual, comfy. I really, really like this. I think this flatters her body shape really well. It shows off her curves, but it also leaves a little bit to the imagination, which I really like. I think I'm going to go with this for the jeans. And then I think I'm going to put her in just a pair of like little comfy sandals. Um, I really like these sandals. I use these all the time. They just look so comfy, so easy to just like slip on and just move on about your day. I really like this. I think we're going to I think we're gonna go with that so let's paint her fingernails real quick because y'all know me and my fingernails on my thumbs i can't help it um oh this blue looks really pretty oh i really like this kind of bluish gray tone love that okay i love her she's so cute okay y'all i am really really happy with how these sims turned out i hope that Simmerclaw likes them too. Hello, hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I am so excited. I am here with Simmerclaw today. Say hello to everybody. Hello. <laughs> we are so excited because we are doing a sim swap. So if you've never seen a sim swap before, basically what we did was I took three of my sims, uploaded them to the gallery, she downloaded them and made them over and she did the same for me. So if you wanna see the makeovers she gave to Silas, Kendra and Sedona, you'll have to check the description down below for the link to that video. Uh, but today we are going to show off the makeover that I did on her sims and I am a little bit nervous because <laughs> I did watch the whole Legacy of Flavors uh, LP on your channel so I am I'm now a stan um, and I love Miss Nyla I she <laughs> she is adorable and I just am really nervous now I, I have to see <laughs> the end of the <laughs> the end of the LP so um, if you guys have not checked that out I will have that linked in the description as well but let's get started so this is how uh they came over in my game i don't actually have them like in creative sim right now but basically mm. this is how they looked before and uh you guys if you're watching the video you've already seen these before pictures um that i have put up um 
in the beginning of the video. So don't even worry about that. But so this is how they were uploaded to the gallery. They came over with basically none of the CC. So I have I thought I had a lot of CC. You must have a ton of CC. <laughs> <laughs> but so we're going to start with Miss Nyla because she was my absolute favorite. But this is her. Oh, I love I, the hair. I wanted to give her something that was a little bit different, but that still stuck with that beautiful kind of curly texture that she has to her hair. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. I just I wanted to give her something kind of pull her hair back a little bit. She looks super cute. I really like her. Oh, I'm so happy with the way she looks. I love <laughs> the fact that her hair still stayed the same. Oh, yes. And you, you've you nailed her outfit. Nyla doesn't really like wearing, like, anything out there unless she's being forced by her family or, like, friends. So you really <laughs> nailed, like, that comfort wear for her. Good. I'm so glad. I When you said normally she likes to wear, like, a cute top or something, I tried on a couple of different things, but I didn't really like the way that anything flattered her body shape. She mm -hmm. doesn't seem like the kind of sim that would wear anything like too overly revealing. Um, so I wanted to give her something that would flatter this beautiful body shape that she has, but would also be comfortable for her to wear. So mm -hmm. I really like it. I think it came out really well. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so moving on to Victor. This is his finished look eventually when my game decides to load. There we go. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I like the hair you gave Victor. I had I did not realize how little afro textured hair I had for male sims mm -hmm. um until I tried to do this and I was like, mm. It looks like I need to go on a CC shopping trip because <laughs> I this is actually I think this is a pet stuff hair. Oh or, no 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 maybe this was cats and dogs I think this was a cats and dogs hair, um because yeah it is cats and dogs because okay. I just could not find anything like CC wise that I had that fit his hair texture mm -hmm. and length, um but. I like it on him. I think it looks oh, cute. Oh, the back. I didn't even realize the back yes. looked like that. Yes. My husband's hair is actually cut like this, so uh, <laughs> but his hair is not curly like that. His hair is very straight. Uh, but I think it looks good on him. I like it. Oh, my gosh. He looks totally almost like I identical to the other one. Just <laughs> wow i didn't change this like could, this could be his brother if we <laughs> know <laughs> right see i didn't change any of their facial features i know you said you didn't change any of the facial features on mine i think i might have added skin overlays to one or two of them uh, but mm -hmm. it didn't really change their facial features just enough to kind of smooth out their skin and make them you know less ea sims looking <laughs> um <laughs> But I really liked it, and I love the watch on him. For some reason, I was just that like, I, first thing I saw, I was, I was like, like, man, he needs a watch. Like he's a chef, he's in the kitchen all the time, he's probably always checking times on things. He's got to have the watch. So, but I like it. I think it turned out really good. So <laughs> then for Amy, she was my favorite. She was my favorite <laughs> to make over. Nyla was fun. I love Nyla. She's my favorite in the LP. But Amy was my favorite to make over because Amy oh my God. turned out so cute. <laughs> oh, my gosh. So you I said, would never have thought to give Amy that dress, but it definitely suits her. You said she was a girly girl and she oh, liked she pink. Girl. So we went full on pink, full on girly girl. She... she did light makeup, but makeup nonetheless. I love, I love what you did to her The face. killer cat the eye. <laughs> she, I think she looks amazing. Oh, they look so good, <laughs> especially Amy. I'm so glad you like. It. I was a little worried about Amy in the dress. Like, I know she's a <laughs> chef, but like, my idea was like, this is like her. I'm going out to hang out with my girlfriend's outfit. You know mm. what I mean? Like, yeah, this is not something she would ever wear in the kitchen. I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> but here we go. So I'm so glad that you liked them. I had so much fun doing this and I hope you all enjoyed. 
Uh, please make sure that you check out the description down below and go subscribe to Simmer Claw's channel. Uh, her Legacy of Flavors LP is just one of my new favorites right now. So if you guys haven't seen it, make sure that you go do that. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do so now. And make sure that you leave a like and a comment on the video. I will see you all next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Bye.